This month's Soapbox is delivered by Ian Aitchison from Landesk. His views are his own. I'd like to take a few minutes to rant my frustration at something I see too frequently when talking to service desk managers and ITSM professionals, and that's using metrics as performance indicators. Now, I'm not going to get into the pure ITIL definition of what is or isn't a true key performance indicator. Instead, I'd like to roughly quote from the particle physicist Heisenberg, the act of measuring changes the behaviour of the object being measured. Now, OK, that was originally about subatomic particles, but it applies just as well to people in ITSM. If you set a performance target on an activity that people do, then the behaviour of those people will change. I'll add another quote. Um, this is from the people that produce the knowledge-centred support methodology. They say, target outcomes, not activity. And my little rant is really to stop IT organisations damaging their quality of service by measuring and setting targets on activity metrics rather than on the outcome of those activities. Let me give you a few examples. First, let's look at first call resolution or first time fix. I spoke to two Landes customers last week. One proudly told me of their 95% first call resolution rate. The other, just as proudly, of their 60% first call resolution rate. Which is providing a better service? Well, no one knows. Either way, I would bet one thing for sure. If they're setting first call resolution targets for their first line service desk staff, then they will be changing the behaviour of those first-line staff. They will be focused on resolve above all else. I would then forecast that the number of cases where they have to unresolve or relog those incidents is going to go up, and customer satisfaction is going to go down. Do you see, first call resolu resolution rate is just first call resolution rate. It tells you nothing about how good IT is how productive the business is, or how impacted or enhanced the business is by IT. But if you set a visible performance target on that meaningless measure, then, well, watch out, because you're going to break something. Let's take another physics example. It's Newton's third law, and it's the same thing. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So I remember seeing an organisation a while back that targeted its staff on achieving a set target number of incidents logged per day really. They were worried that staff were just not logging any incidents into their service desk product, so they said, you must log at least 10 a day. End result, incidents were being logged and resolved for every little thing, many of them not remotely connected to IT support. And I saw one. Is Sue coming to the gym? Resolution? No. Now another example, target reducing the proportion of incidents that are open and awaiting action at the end of each day. Now, the end result of that is you get a flurry of emails coming out from IT every day at 5 to 5, saying, please send us a screenshot of the issue that you need help with, passing the action to the customer. No longer waiting for support to take the action. The end result? Unhappy customer. You see, measure activity, you change behaviour, often for the worse. So maybe my rant is really to promote measure outcomes. For example, it's not how many incidents you resolve or how many knowledge articles you produce, it's how many times customers manage to use the knowledge that you wrote to answer a question themselves. That's an outcome of good support. Or productivity. Employee staff productivity is an outcome of a combination of service availability and speed and accuracy of support. Or, of course, the best outcome of all is customer satisfaction. Mind you, I'd like to trump that one if I can. I'm seeing increased focus on NPS, Net Promoter Score. How many of your customers would recommend your service to someone else? It's the industry standard used by Landesk and Apple and, and many other organisations to assess commercial customer satisfaction. But it fits very well for internal support. Now don't get me wrong, all the metrics I described earlier are an important part of a balanced scorecard view across your IT operation. They are IT operational metrics, but they are not performance indicators. And if you use them as such, you put your service quality at risk. <laughs>